If you've ever wanted to paint loose watercolor roses, this is the video for you. Here we'll go over each little thing step by step, right from color mixes to brush strokes to making a complete finish piece. And do watch till the end for my top 5 tips for getting your roses right. Now this can be a Valentine's card, it can be a Mother's Day card or even a piece of art to adorn your walls. So let's begin. So to start with, I'm drawing the outline of a heart on my paper. Uh, the paper I'm using is a 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper. I will be using two round brushes, number two and number six for this painting. Like always, you'll find all the details in the description below. I'll also take a moment to ask you all to subscribe in case you haven't done so already. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. The way we'll be making our brush strokes is like this. It's a very simple design. We are basically using just one brush stroke all throughout, a U-shape. Now I begin by drawing a U-shaped curve and then another U-shaped curve facing it. This literally is the center of the rose. Now these U curves will get larger and larger as they spread out. I know it looks like some spherical blob at this time, at this moment, but when you do it in watercolor, it does look like a rose. When you're painting, you can even angle them in different ways and this gives a more organic appearance. Let's talk colors. Uh, so I'm making three different roses in three different colors. So um, for my dark pink, I use carmine from my palette and mix in a little bit of umber to give it a vintage look. Next, I mix a very pale pinkish peach by using carmine with cad yellow and lots of white. I make a nice mellow down red by mixing scarlet lake and a touch of burnt sienna. Now for my greens, I use sap green with a little bit of yellow. This is the light green. And for a dark green, I add in a little bit of indigo. So we are all set. For painting our rose, we start by doing one U curve and then another facing it. Now this is the center of our rose. Starting from the center is always a good idea while painting flowers because it kind of helps to anchor our flower. As we move away from the center, our petals should get bigger and bigger. Your stroke should be broad in the middle and fine at the tips. So touch, press and lift while making these strokes. It doesn't matter if you don't really get them exactly right. You can always go in with the tip of your brush and fix them later. While the center is still wet, sometimes I like to go in with a different color and you can see how vibrant it looks when the color blends. As my petals get bigger, I will swap my number 2 brush for my bigger brush just to get broader strokes. When painting the outer petals, uh, rinse your brush slightly to get more water and less paint in them. So this consistency will help in giving a lovely blended look. On the other hand, if you feel it is too washed out, you can uh, add a little definition by infusing it with a little bit of paint while it is wet and moving it around with your brush. One of the most important things to note while painting watercolor roses is to leave those little white gaps between your petals when putting down your strokes. Now I will fill up the heart outline by painting several other roses in different colors. 
be sure to leave some little gaps between the roses so that you have uh, so that you can add leaves later We finish off this piece by making by putting in small details of leaves, uh, uh, bunches of leaves, a clusters, a single leaf here and there, and uh, there you have it. Love is on my mind and it's